Okay. Um, I'm going to teach you how to uh, put music, sound, or any kind of sound file to a video. So first you're going to open up VideoPad, and it should be like this, basically. It'll be empty. Um, you're going to click on Add Media, and here is the only video on my computer, so I'm going to use that. You'll obviously do, um, you'll add whatever um, video you want to add from wherever it is, so desktop or wherever, and you could just drag it from the desktop, or if it's in a file folder or anything, you can just drag it into VideoPad into the media list thing right here. So, um, I have my video. If I click play, it's going to play. And this video is the stupid Dell video that came with the computer. And, uh, it will, yeah, it'll play and it has sound on it. So that sound will play. And I'll, on, if your video that you have that you're going to edit and add sound to already has sound, um, I'll teach you how to get rid of the sound or make the sound quieter um, and make the the other sound go with it. All right, so now I have to add the music. So wherever your song is or whatever you're going to put it onto it for sound, um, you go to where that is. Mine's in my music. Uh, I'll just do this, this, and... Uh yeah, all right, so... I have my song, I have my video. So I'm gonna you're gonna drag your video here and you're going to drag your song here. That makes sense. Um now if you play if you click on either of them, it'll they'll play. So if I click on this, this stupid Dell video will play. Click on this, then you got Kanye West. So um you don't want that to happen, obviously. Um yeah. So if you click this, this is like the overall thing. Like, this is selected here, and here is the video. So you're going to click on this, and they're going to play. So you see the right here on this thing that's going along, you see the video, like, progressing and everything, and then you see the song progressing. But if you were to listen to it, you couldn't hear the song. That's not good. I don't know. You couldn't hear the, so um, the song you picked. Actually, you can. All right, wait. Um, it works. So, um, all you have to do is add the video, add the song, and play it, I guess. Um, I think that's it. Um, I'm not sure. Earlier when I did this, it didn't work like that. I had to, I had to get rid of the sound on, on the other video. Um, Oh, another thing you want to know is when you add your song onto the the video, Heartless is like three and a half minutes long. If this video is minute 15, that's not good. Because um, after the video, the video part of the video is over, the song will keep playing and it'll just be on a black screen. So what you want to do is you want to click on your song, you want to right click, you want to, no, you don't want to right click. You want to click out point here, and then see right here, it'll show the length of your video. So minute 15. And here you can change it to one, uh, one five point zero. Um, it might be somewhere in there. So I'll just do like one point five nine. So it it can't be any longer. So you get like as much of the song you can before the video is over. Um, so now if I play it, no, not this. If I play this here from this. The um, the song will play towards the end of the video, and I just realized now how ridiculous the song sounds with the video, and it's pretty funny. But um, yeah, it's gonna play out um until the end of the video, and the song should play out too. Um, I don't know what it's doing. Alright, yeah, it, well, it, it, it took a little while longer before it ended. Uh, you can change that. I just made mine a little bit go a little bit longer. If I just did 115, it would have gone to be a little bit longer. And you could you could drag it and just uh, click it and do that. No, you can't. Just maybe. Oh yeah, hit split. Right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, otherwise, just click Outpoint. Click Song, Outpoint. Um, change the number. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, actually, no. Um, let's say you were saying something in the video or had something else in the video that you didn't want. If you wanted the music along with something else in the video, like let's say there was like original sound in the video or something like that, you would want to um you would want to decrease the sound of soundtrack. So if your um song was like here, I think it could be yeah, it could be here, here, here wherever. You know. Um so yeah, so if the song is here, here, um, it doesn't matter what soundtracks it, it's in. All what really matters is that this audio track is, I think it is. Let me give, let me uh, check it. Yeah, it's the sound from the original video. If I if I play, it. I have headphones on so I can hear it, and um, it's it's the sound from the original video. Um, I could just remove that. No, no I couldn't. I could just rem remove that. I could unlink it. Yeah, I could just unlink the sound clip. Um, that'd be a lot easier. And now we just have the, um, we have we just have the Dell video and the heart and Heartless. But um, this would be. Um, I'm undoing. Uh, it would. Well, I deleted it. That sucks. But um, now, I would uh. I don't know how I did that. I don't know what I want to do. But um, I would have um, the video of the, the, the sound from the original video as an audio track or a soundtrack. When you place the video into VideoPad, it will give you the, the stills from the video. So you get like every frame from the thing. You could just see right there that they're all changing. And you could, you could change the sequence. And this is a semi decent video editing thing, piece of crap. But uh, you could just click on this. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, um, the original audio track will be somewhere along here. It'll probably look a little bit different than this. And um, let's pretend that I'll, I'll, I'll let another song to uh, give you an example of how you can change your uh, change how to to make the original video sa audio quieter. Or make the sound video or the the song thing quieter. I don't know what else I have on here. Okay, I'll add this. Um, let me see how long this video is. All right, seven minutes. All right, okay. Um, loading, decoding. I have no music on this computer. I have no videos. I would rather use a better example for better music, but this is all I have on this crappy desktop. My laptop is in for repair. It's going to take a while to decode on a slow computer or just a bad computer from five years ago. Uh -huh. More newer computers will, will go better. Uh, what's going on? Oh, um, this isn't what happened. Okay, um, I'm dragging this in. Well, I don't know what happened. Oh, what I did was I. L no, now I'm, I'm not doing what I think I'm doing. Uh, what I did was I um I added a track onto a track. So now I have Heartless playing after uh no, Viva La Vida playing after Heartless and I don't want that to happen. Now I have it dragged drag if you drag it into an empty sound thing and make it fit. So it fits here. There. Um so if I play the video now, the final video. All right, this is a little bit annoying. Um if I play the original video, I'll get um I'll get this kind of cool sounding mashup of the both of both songs. Now unless you really want that to happen, which is fine, I guess, um, you can leave it, but in this case, it won't be two songs, it'll be, 
your original audio from the video you've made and the song. So let's pretend that it's not an awesome mashup and that it is actually your original vi audio. You're going to pause this. I don't know why. Yep, might have it playing. I don't know. You're going to lower the volume of soundtrack too. In this case, you it, when you actually have your video on here, your original audio is likely to be um, an audio track, this spot, and not soundtrack one or two. Uh, that's not a big deal. You can just drag it or leave it. It'll be in whatever it is. Keep in mind that this is Heartless. We're pretending this is the song we're adding. And this is Viva La Vida. Um, so I have, let's say I, you can just control the volume however you want. So this is zero, this is 100. If I click play, we're only going to get Viva La Vida. That means you're only going to get the original audio. If you click 100, 100, you're going to get like equal equal of both. You're going to get, uh, if you put one at like 50, around here, 50, Um, you really don't hear the the other video, the other thing that much. So, um, if you want one to be, let me let me try putting them both at fifty, or both around fifty. Um, now, if you, um, you kind of get. Yeah, you kind of get equal of both. Um, so you can uh, considering that actually it's not going to be a mashup when you do it this time, or when you d when uh, whenever you do it, it's, it'll be uh, audio track has original sound soundtrack will have the song. Uh, if you p hit play when you first do it, you will get a mix of both. You will, or unless you no, you won't. Uh. If you hit play, yeah, you'll you'll get the the sound of the original video with the song. I'm pretty sure this is what you want to do, unless I'm confused or something. I don't know. But now, um, you're gonna want to save it. That's important. You're going to want to uh, file. I don't know if I already did this. I'm pretty sure I did. No, I didn't. Uh, save movie. You're not gonna want to do save project. That'll be different, because it'll save as a project file, and that'll be really weird. Um, you want to save computer data, save destination wherever you want. Um, if you do that, you'll get this, and you could save it as a title. You probably want to give it a title. This is just the second of a video I already made, so it'll save as ASDF, ASDF2. Um, now, uh, resolution, some stuff, YouTube, YouTube wide, YouTube H HQ. This will, you'll get high quality. It'll be an a if you upload it to YouTube, it'll you can change it to probably 720p or 1080 for uh, high quality. This will be wide, so you get like four, four twenty or four eighty. I don't know what it is. I think it's four eighty or four sixty. I don't know. And then this is regular YouTube, uh, two forty, three sixty, p for s for quality. File format. You probably want M four P, um, maybe AVI. Either one is fine. Um, I remember I saved the last one. It was like twenty four megs, and it was a shorter. It was no, it was a video of the same length as this. Um. I would make it an AV I I'll just try AVI, try MP4, whatever you whatever looks best to you. Um, after saving it, you could you could go back, save it as, and then change the file type if it ends up being a, like a huge ass file. Like anything over 100 megs for a minute is a lot. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm saving. Okay, now uh, it'll take a long time. Uh, no, it won't. Um, I, I guess that uh, AVI will save faster on a computer. Keep that in mind. I guess you could probably do it AVI. Um, Let's see what happens. This is like 14 minutes. The original video was 12 minutes. This is ridiculous. All right, now yeah, now it's taking a while. All right, I'm waiting. Um, here. Uh, it'll save, it'll go to the desktop, or you can go to desktop, it'll ask if you want to open it, uh, do what you want, uh, that's about it.